Hey guys, what's up? So it's been a while since I've done an update on the business uh, and I definitely want to make sure that I keep on doing that for you guys. Um, so that's what this is going to be. This is going to be vlog number six, I believe, on the business side of things. So if you're interested, make sure you keep on watching. All right, guys. So uh, it's been a while like I said, since I've done an update. <laughs> um, but basically, before I even start, I wanna uh, do a couple thank yous and a shout out. So number one, I wanna say thank you to Break Tough, Brian specifically for uh, rocking the shirt at their last event here in Spokane. They were, uh, Break Tough is a rap, not a rap, <laughs> a break dance crew. Um, and two of their members went out to a battle over in Spokane and they decided to wear these shirts. So awesome, shout out to them for doing that. And then I also want to give a huge shout out to Treetop Productions for 20 for always showing love. Um, they're almost to a thousand. So if you guys are here and watching and aren't following them yet, make sure that you get over there. They only have like 40 some subs left. So let's see if we can get them there by the end of this weekend. Um, and with that, uh, I, this started off uh, when I started this business, I wanted it to be, I wanted to be a promoter. I, again, I wanted to do promotion. I wanted to throw events. I've done it in the past. And I thought I could just jump right back into it, no problem, blah, blah, blah. You guys can go back through and watch those. That didn't go too well. <laughs> so after that didn't go very well, the next move was, uh, the next move was to get shirts printed, uh, these ones that you guys see here, uh, and then see if maybe the logo and the name was good enough to uh, try to make this into more of a clothing line versus you know a promotion company and that kind of thing so i bought these shirts i only got like 14 or so for the first run um but they did really well like people were genuinely excited about them um i pre-sold like seven of them or eight of them and like i gave one away i it, they did a lot and it, it was enough for me to realize like hey you do have something here um, you should pay it to put more of your attention into this because this is really looking like it's going to pan out. Um, so that's kind of the way that this is going. It's going to turn more into a... Uh... Oh, the other thing is people are genuinely excited about other products. Like I've mentioned getting hats with just, just the basic logo, like nothing crazy. Uh, people really like that. I've mentioned um, hoodies. Hoodies people are like I had <laughs> I've had multiple people say they would pay me right then and there uh, for a hoodie and I was like no I don't want to take your money yet I'm making sure that I do this right and blah 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 but um, so I, I realized I have something here um, something that is going to work it's gonna take time and it's got to be done right uh, lesson that I learned from the last you know attempt at doing something was that um, you really have to slow down and pay attention to the details. So pay attention to the small things that can trip you up down the road. And I'll go ahead and mention a couple of those here. So as you guys know, I did do a giveaway. I gave one of these shirts to Whiskey Town Skateboarder. He lives down in Redding, California. Um, and when I was like getting ready to ship his shirt, I, I, I realized it was covered, like not covered, but it had quite a bit of cat hair because I do have two cats. Um, and so it, it just it gave me this feeling in my stomach that same feeling that i got when i <laughs> tried to bring artists from spokane from tri-cities to spokane um i got that same gut feeling that was like yo this this isn't necessarily what you want to be doing um i you guys don't know this about me but i hold myself to a extremely high standard especially when somebody's paying me uh giving me their money or i'm doing something that's supposed to build and promote a business um, I respect your guys' money and I respect your guys' work that goes into making that money. So I want to make sure that when you guys give it, give some of that to me, um, that what you're getting in return is going to be something that you are genuinely and 100% satisfied with and happy with to receive. So with that, uh, some of the things uh, I was going to order like 100 shirts for this month and just start running and gunning and trying to get them sold. But I realized, yo, pump the brakes. Make sure that everything's gonna be good. There's a couple things that you need to fix and you need to do before you actually go out and try to like run and do all this stuff. Number one being get poly bags for plastic. So as soon as I get my shirts, probably even before I come home, I'm gonna just throw them all into poly bags and so that instantly they're protected. If somebody ships something cool, so the poly bag has a little bit of, you know, something on it, I can brush it off real fast and send it off, no big deal. Um, 
Another thing I want to work on is maybe getting tags, like hang tags for the shirt so that when you get it, it's not just a shirt in a bag, but it's also like, you know, a little bit more branding to it. And, and just little details here and there that uh, make it make me more of a legitimate business and a legitimate brand. So um, yeah, yeah, the whole goal, um, I, if you guys go back to the first couple videos that I talked about the whole business thing about or in, um, you'll notice that uh, I said I, I'm very liquid and fluid when it comes to what I'm going to look like or what this company and business will look like uh, by the end of five years. My goal is just to make it five years. Uh, most businesses die before that. And as long as I can survive and slowly grow year after year after year over those five years, then I'm going to be a happy camper. Um, and again, the, these videos, um, I know I mainly just do cannabis reviews and cannabis stuff. Um, and this is kind of like, you know, I don't sell cannabis. I don't have like a license to sell cannabis or anything like that. Um, so this is really just a brand. But I don't know. I guess what I'm trying to say is I, I do these videos for, for myself more than I, than I do them for you. And not to sound like offensive, but what I mean by that is in five years or let's say two and a half years i'm i'm you know two and a half years into the business things are going well and i just get hit by this crazy you know problem that just you know it maybe starts to derail me and if that happens i can then turn back and look at all these videos and say hey dude remember where you started remember where you were and remember and look at everything that you've done to get to where you are you're gonna figure this out the same way you figured out all of those other things. And that's really <clears throat> why I'm doing this, I guess. Um, I have no desire <laughs> to be, you know, the guy or to be anybody's like, you know, anybody's anything. I just wanna I just wanna be successful and whatever that looks like at the end of five years for me, that's awesome and I can't wait to get there. Uh, but until then, I hope you guys enjoy this journey. I'm gonna try to make these weekly. I, that was, I, I was supposed to do these weekly, but oh, business is kind of emotional sometimes. <laughs> so I, I had to like get my stuff together, re reorganize my thoughts and really figure out where I was gonna go with this before I just started spewing stuff out. Um, so yeah, with that, this has been Recreational 420. If you guys enjoy what I'm doing, definitely make sure to hit that sub button. Um, I'm again, I'll be making more of these. I'm doing a giveaway in a week or so. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. And with that, I'll be back again with you guys soon.